what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so the day is upon us tomorrow is the day for screen 5 to officially start filming out in wilmington north carolina it's been nine almost a decade since screen 4 released in april of 2011 we have our full cast on board here you see them in front of you uh they've been posting stuff melissa barrera has posted mason gooding has posted something Jack Quaid, I haven't seen too much of him. Jenna Ortega is the uh, driving force behind today's video. She recently sat down with Entertainment Tonight and shared some tidbits um, about some of the things that we can expect in regards to the production and what's going on and how everything is on set. And she also touched on the opening kill. There's been a lot of rumblings about a specific actress celebrity singer appearing former wizard <laughs> appearing in the franchise as the opening kill that of course being selena gomez selena gomez has been just getting rumored to be the opening kill of screen five and jenna ortega touched on it briefly in this recent interview with entertainment tonight but before we got into that i want to talk about something that 3c films recently did a video on shout out to him i did bring this to his attention which is which is what prompted him to make that video he also went into a bit of other details in the video that um i shared with him privately in our messages that we have between each other so just to start off now we know that screen five isn't going to be about sydney prescott we know that it's for from what it looks like on the outside it's not going to be about Sydney Prescott. I can say that, yes, as you guys have, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that, yes, I am aware of a certain thing that will happen if they go with a certain ending that I'm aware of. If this is the ending they go with, Sydney will have a factor into that. But I'm not, of course, going to go over that until the movie comes out. I, once the movie comes out, I'll literally show everything that that person sent me. So I don't want to share everything and come off like I was lying or something, but we know we're expecting melissa barrera to be sarah who is going to be a young woman returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes now sarah is not the name that i was told many months ago because as you guys know you saw on twitter i shared that i have known a lot of details about screen five but just was waiting for these official announcements to come to you know see if this person was legit and like as the audition tapes were coming out and as all these other things came out i was getting re just reaffirmed that this person is telling the truth and i just didn't want to say anything until we all knew as a group so here we have right here in front of you you have like from the southern casting agency website they have listings for stand-ins looking for stand-ins for gail dewey and then on this next one you see here we have stand-ins they're looking for stand-ins for two characters sam and richie now 3c pointed this out in his video because i pointed it out to him look at the letters of each each name richie and sam the first letter is r we've come to know that the two people we will be expecting to see like costco workers also having a relationship in the film will be sarah and ryan now sam was the name that i got told would be our lead for screen five back on the fourth of july uh so when things started coming out and it wasn't sam being mentioned i'm like okay i instantly started thinking i don't i didn't think that person was lying to me what i instantly thought was okay they're they're using they're using i made mention of it in videos they're using like separate names from what they're actually going to be called in the movie and that's exactly what it looks like it's going to be because on these talent on that talent agency website where they're looking for stand-ins for two characters they're not naming sarah and ryan they're naming sam and richie so sam is sarah and melissa barrera most likely is going to be portraying sam sarah uh jack quaid we're all associating him with richie ryan the boyfriend of sarah they all work at costco together 24 years old 25 years old mid 20s you know the whole ordeal that we've been coming out ever since jack zach cherry put out his video because the reason i didn't make a video when i found out stuff is because i'm i just didn't feel comfortable making a video about something that could in fact not be what they go with because i i didn't have a shadow of it i had my doubts that i wasn't being told the truth but at the same time i'm not going to make a video and then have that not be what happens and then you know i get a whole bunch of backlash it's not that i was lying 
I just didn't want to come off as, a, as if I was lying. Cause it's not that I'm, I'm lying. It's very obvious at this point that they have multiple scripts that they're working with. And they're doing a lot of things to keep everything under wraps. Because that's what Jenna Ortega shared in her recent sit down with Entertainment Tonight. She's talked about how the production is... They're keeping everything, not even the, the cast members know everything. They know very little. She even went on to state that they have to pause themselves sometimes when she's talking to these other cast members to make sure that, hey, do you know the same information I know? And then just to address something else about that, they are, she she described Scream 5, whatever it's going to be called. She says it fits in perfectly with the previous four movies that's because because that's what the interview asked her she said they fit in if this new narrative will fit in perfectly and it's great to have the re returning cast back she also touched on again selena gomez the rumors that she will be the opening kill she basically says she doesn't know what's going on with selena gomez but according to another article which i i don't even know at this point if i should even mention this this article they, it, they struck me as a we got this covered they said a friend of a friend who is friends with Selena Gomez, a source, says that Selena Gomez is going to be in the movie, but she can't say anything because that's what her in the studio and the and the filmmakers involved with Screen 5 had worked out. She can't say anything because that's how top secret this is going to be. So, you know what? I, at this point, who knows if it's true or not? We're not going to know if that's true until we see Selena Gomez getting gutted by Ghostface at this point. Because we know that they're supposed to be filming at a house in Wilmington, North Carolina from at least September 22nd to the 26th, starting tomorrow most likely going to be the opening kill that's what we're assuming now this they could be filming it out of order they could be filming this out of order but i just really found it interesting how basically there's still so many things that i am waiting to see if they come true for me to then also reveal that okay i was aware that this could be a possibility because this person they sent me other things i am aware of a particular fate regarding kirby we don't know if hayden pantier is going to be in the in the movie just yet i do want to throw out there that her not getting an official cast announcement uh doesn't mean that she won't have some type of involvement in the project what i know i do know i do know i do know what the fate for kirby was i do know yes whether she is going to be dead or alive but i want to highlight the fact that again this is just a version this is a version they could instantly give us something different because you guys are on twitter demanding at this point that they bring kirby back so all this demand and everything they might do something completely different that might not sit well with you might tick you off and honestly i would probably back off because if you want kirby in the movie i i don't think uh they they come out and made statements i don't think tweeting them is gonna necessarily do anything it's not up to them it's i wouldn't put it past them that they made the offer it comes down to hayden pantier is she in the proper mindset does she want to be involved in a project such as this at this point in time in her career does she want to even return to the role of kirby um i know she has respect for the character because we saw on late december she was rocking that kirby haircut and it's not even that it's just that she's been going through a lot of things personally she might not be down to do a screen movie just keep in mind i do know something about kirby and if they go with that route then they just go with that route now it might not be the route that they go so what there's no point in me talking about it and telling you what it is just just know that yes if you follow me on twitter yes there is an outcome that i am aware of for kirby and it'll probably just be depending on whether or not hayden commits to it or not so that's all i really want to say i'm gonna move on from that so just to talk a little bit more about those character switch up names so this whole entire time because zach cherry i believe is the one who started this um someone came to zach cherry the same way i went out to someone who was posting stuff on reddit someone came to zach cherry and they gave him a spreadsheet of cast of character names and character descriptions for screen five they work on the project so they weren't lying but my individual who came to me they didn't provide me a spreadsheet or anything they just told me that this girl's name was going to be sam so when i saw everybody talking about sarah and all these other type of things i instantly said to myself i wonder if they are using code names of some sort and it seems like that's what's happening because i i i knew something before zach cherry put out that video so when i saw a description that mentioned sarah and not a girl named sam I was kind of perplexed because things were matching up exactly how they were supposed to in my uh, in the stuff that I was told. 
I was told that this would be a woman who left town when she was very young. She is coming back uh, after her. Something happens with her. I, I can't. I don't. I almost spoil something. I, I'm not even going to bother going into it at this point. I'm really excited about Scream 5 starting production tomorrow. I can't wait for it. I know you guys can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see what all comes out of this. I am aware of one potential ending, and if they go with it, I would be very satisfied, but I'm not going to go into that unless it actually happens. If it doesn't happen, I will reveal it, of course, on this channel, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Are you excited about production starting tomorrow? Um, can you? What are you looking forward to the most? Because there's also another thing that I am aware of. I'm also very much aware of the fact that we have something to look forward to in regards to the character of Stu not not Stu in particular not him being alive or dead just something about Stu because and the reason I've connected these dots is based off of what Matthew Lillard tweeted and based off of some of the things that another person sent me on Twitter shout out to you I for, I'm forgetting your handle on Twitter at the moment but you know who you are if you watch my videos and after doing some digging something regarding him is going to be a factor in this project if they go that route it's not him being alive or dead anything like that but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you excited about production tomorrow if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future right in my guys i will see you in the next video